everyone, Keisha Martin here again with Venus Springs, and today I'm interviewing Karen Connor, who is a musician and has a lovely voice, and uh, she's got an EP coming out, or it is out, right? Uh, yep. And she's, she's going to share her beautiful voice with us to get us started, and then we're going to just kind of talk a little bit about her music and the importance of creativity and mental health. Thank you, Keisha, so much for having me. Yeah, so I thought I would just share a little... Um, song that I, I recently wrote um, around Thanksgiving. It's called Thankful to be Alive. Just to give you an idea of, um, you know, how I write music and how I interpret it and how I want to um, help others with it. So I'm um, just going to sing a little acapella here. Yeah, it's called Thankful to be Alive. I'm thankful to be alive. So grateful to have love by my side. Through this year of tears and fears of crone and of surprise, I'm thankful to be alive. So grateful for this life. Wow, I got goosebumps. Oh. It's always a little scary to sing it, you know, acapella. It's not quite. Oh, you've got a gorgeous voice. It's beautiful. Oh. And I, I just hope that whoever's listening will check out your work and hopefully find some solace with whatever they're going through. So would you mind telling whoever's watching a little bit about what inspires you and a little bit about finding solace? Yeah. So um, like Keisha said, my name is Karen Connor. Um, I am an independent online musician. And I have been, you know, kind of in the music world most of my life singing. So a few years ago, I decided to start pursuing online music only. So, and hopefully that'll branch out into, you know, to something more, but um, that's where my focus is right now. And uh, like I said, I've always, you know, been in the, in the music world. Um, sorry if you can hear my bird in the background. <laughs> Eric, okay. She wants um, to be a part of the interview. That's fine. Yeah, thank you <laughs> singing. Um, she likes to sing and... Um, so I'm in my music room right now, and so she enjoys hearing the music and all that stuff. But anyway, I come from a family of musicians. My dad was a musician, and I feel it's just kind of in, in my blood and who I am. I know that without music and writing songs, I feel pretty empty and not very fulfilled. Mm -hmm. um, so I write music. I really am into, you know, the meaning of lyrics and having some purposeful lyrics. So I usually start out writing song lyrics just kind of based on my feelings. So if I am struggling with something, which we all do, and I struggle constantly, especially with anxiety and just, you know, just processing the world around me and my own life situations and the life situations of others. So I just, as a way to just process those emotions and those feelings and whatever I'm going through, I just will start singing, you know, wherever I am and just kind of come up with a melody and the lyrics just kind of start flowing out and I usually we'll record it like on a voice memo and just kind of work through it that way. And then I put, um, figure out the chords on the piano and I kind of go from there. So the lyrics are a big, um, important thing for me. Mm -hmm. And because I'm able to, you know, work through what I'm feeling inside or I don't even really understand what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Just, singing it out and just trying to put words to it um, really just helps me to process that so yeah and that's part of the reason why i wanted to interview you is because you know i believe that creativity and music and art can really help people in the therapeutic process kind of just sort through their feelings and you know kind of piece together and make connections you know through song or lyrics and such and so i thought it would be really cool to talk to you about that to see like how that looked for you and your in your journey and whatnot yeah, so I'll, I guess I'll start with this song here. I'm thankful to be alive. So what inspires me to write music is just like everyday life experiences, just whatever I'm feeling and needing to process. So thankful to be alive is just kind of, you know, I just think of what's happening and how I'm feeling and just kind of let that flow out of me with the lyrics. Um, so it was around Thanksgiving time and I was thinking of this year ending and just kind of where I'm at personally. and how it just really helps to have gratitude and, and, and being thankful for where you're at and with what you have. And so this little, the little short little song that might turn into something, you know, more sometime, but this is just, sometimes it just takes a few lyrics to just kind of process, you know, what you're going through and just to 
get it out there. I've started off with cover songs and just even putting your own interpretation on a song and just what it means to you. Um, I'm really big on that. So just, you know, the songwriter may write the song for one reason, but that's the beautiful thing about art and, you know, just the whole creative process is that you can make it whatever it means for mm -hmm. you and make it very personable and um, to help you with where you're at. So I just, I loved putting my own uh, meaning to those songs and I have an EP out now called Finding um, Solace mm -hmm. and it's five songs and it kind of goes through um, what I consider to be different journeys of life. It, just for me to sing those songs and just to kind of put this music out there has been really fulfilling and really comforting um, because I'm stepping into who mm -hmm. I am <laughs> and not just because I have musicians in my family or that my dad was a musician, but because like, that's truly, you know, who I am. So I, I really believe in just stepping into what you are just passionate about and what you're drawn to as a way to fulfill you. Uh, because nothing else is going to take that place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel very fortunate that I know what that is, and I've known what that is most of my life, um, which is which is music. But really, just kind of understanding my own take on music and what I want to bring to the world and yeah. what I want to you know share with other people. Um, that's the process I'm going through now, and I find that just so exciting and mm -hmm. so fulfilling. And so these songs kind of go through heartbreak and things that have you feeling weighed down, just kind of starting over in life, um, branching out in a new direction, loving yourself and others, and then just um, grief and yeah. going through like these difficult situations. So mm -hmm. other people may interpret these songs differently. So like I said, these are the songs from the Finding Solace um, EP, but it's been a fun creative process for me. And I chose these songs because I relate to them. And like I said, what they personally mean to me. And I actually didn't decide to put them into an EP right away. And it wasn't until I came up, I really thought about what these songs had in common, what the, the common theme is and the common like meaning and what I wanted it to mean for others. The Finding Solace just really just brought it all together. And that's where my creativity really started flowing as far as taking that project to a different level, a different place. So I've actually, you know, channel that creativity into some, some merch. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for my cup. I have mine here. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Um, yeah. So it's the finding solace once about a time. And, oh, and this quote on here, I wanted to read. I thought it was, is so fitting. Um, it says a garden is a delight to the eye and a solace for the soul. Right. Um, <laughs> and it kind of, I was thinking about that quote and well, of course, when I opened the package, I was like, oh my gosh, solace and oh my God, that's perfect. Um, and I love gardens and I think gardens are beautiful and they're nature's like art itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for sure. So I'm kind of, yeah. And so I'm kind of thinking as well, like a garden is the delight to the eye and a solace for the soul. So that's creativity, you know, mm -hmm. that's whether it's art or dancing or whatever mm -hmm. creative thing you're crafting or whatever um, yeah. music. Like, that is a delight to those around you mm -hmm. and it's comforting for the soul. Yeah. And um, anyway, so that's what all the songs are about too, is you know, just bringing comfort and inspiration. And so just really using creativity to you know, bring fulfillment to your, to your life and to really just draw out what you've got inside because it's just important to, to let that out and mm -hmm. share it and to help others with it. So. Yeah. And I, I know that it, for me personally, I find it very cathartic to just kind of get into it and you're in the moment, you know, with music and with art. I mean, it, you can kind of get distracted, I guess, to a certain degree, but I think if you're really in it, then, you know, you're just so present. And I think that can really help with anxiety and also just make connections and process your feelings better. And so I always encourage that as a therapist, like if you have an outlet, great, use that, try to find a way to use it in therapy. And if not, like being open to finding one. And so I was curious, you know, as, as I was listening to you speak, I was curious if there's like an interpretation that you, that, that you're hoping your listeners will receive when, when they listen to your music. Well, I hope that they can just, when they listen to the music, I hope that they can find 
comfort and inspiration knowing that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. And that's why lyrics are so important to me. You know, I've, you know, growing up and listening to songs, that's what's really drawn me to music as well, is that, oh my gosh, I feel so understood and validated with my feelings. Mm -hmm. And that's been very therapeutic and just so helpful, like to know that I'm not alone Mm -hmm. or even just hearing just the music of this song and it just touches a part of your soul that like the words can't even touch. I just love it. It's just so comforting and in in your soul and your spirit, like you interpret it the way that you need to for what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And so I would just encourage anyone who's, who's listening to music of any, you know, sort, you know, whatever style of music, genre of music that speaks to you, just, you know, let it do what it needs to do. That's what music is there for. I think, uh, and there's a quote, um, music is my therapist, <laughs> um, which I know, like, you know, you need to seek professional help if, if you, you know, if you need it for sure. Yeah, but in between those sessions, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I just think music is just so powerful. It's such a powerful tool. So I would just encourage people, whatever song you're listening to, just to take that in personal interpretation and just kind of dive into the lyrics a little bit more and figure out you know, maybe what it means to you and why are you drawn to that song? I think us being drawn to certain types of music or certain songs can say a lot about us, whether we realize it um, consciously or not. So I think there's just so much more we can dive into with the lyrics of the song. Using music, or if you're not musical, just whatever creativity you have, like I said, just to bring fulfillment to your life, to step into who you are and... Sorry about the bird. (laughs) Blueberry, stop. Her name is Blueberry. She's a little. Blueberry wants to sing. Blueberry. She's taking yeah. your advice. <laughs> she wants to chatter away. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to chatter away. Anyway, so just, you know, I, I know we're, some people are just caught up into you know, the day to day, going to work, and when do I have time to be creative? I don't have time to do all that stuff. And I'm very thankful that I'm in a, a place now in my life where I can focus on my music and my family and just really start to pursue, you know, my, my goals with that. Mm -hmm. But just for anybody that's, you know, just find a little bit of time here and there. It doesn't have to be a business. It doesn't have to be anything big. It can just be five minutes here or there, but to Mm -hmm. really be in, I think it's just more about awareness of who you are and what fulfills you and makes you happy. And that you can't, you know, like you're just, life is just so much better. You can process life better when you have this art, this outlet of creativity. Just Mm -hmm. allow yourself some time to fit in some creativity here and there, even if it's just for yourself. Like, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're all creative to to some capacity. We all, you know, have that in us. So, and just to step outside of the norm and to be open and doing things a little differently. So that's something I've always appreciated about music. And that's something I keep in mind when I do write. My hope is, you know, for those listening to my music or you know, other music is that those lyrics that are relatable to you, you have your own personal interpretation. They can bring you some, just to some comfort and um, inspiration. I've mentioned this to you in the past, uh, you know, the importance to me as a therapist to try to incorporate creativity in, in my work that I do with clients or encourage them to find some kind of outlet. Can you share with us how your outlet has helped you navigate your world in terms of when you've struggled with whatever you've struggled with? So I've struggled with anxiety for most of my life and it comes in different forms. Um, I've also struggled with depression, but anxiety is definitely a big one. And I noticed part of that anxiety is just from not being fulfilled and with what I'm doing and really being true to myself, mm-hmm. and having the confidence in who I am. So with me doing my music, that's my creative outlet. And so I feel my anxiety is definitely um, eased up a lot when I am just singing, you know, a song like that. Like I, that song came to me when I was giving my son a bath and I'm just like standing in, you know, in the bathroom, just, just contemplating, you know, about life. So just having that as a creative outlet, is just, and just to sing it through and just to get it out is just so, you know, therapeutic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause it keeps you in the present moment, especially singing. Cause you're, you have to connect with your breath 
and that can alleviate anxiety, right? If you learn how to breathe correctly. Yes. Um, yeah, so I think that's really cool. Um, okay, so Karen, can you tell me maybe who inspired you or encouraged you in some way? Because I know my husband does that for me. Even my daughter, I'll feel stuck about something or I'll just kind of be in a funk and they'll say something or we'll talk about something. I'll like, oh, and I'm just sparked again. And I, you know, can just kind of find my center again. You know, having people around you that believe in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. even when you don't see it. I think that's so helpful. I know not everybody has that, but I also think that that's what, where therapy can help. So like if people don't have that source of support, you know, having a good relationship with your therapist, I think can help a lot with that, you know, helping you see things and look at yourself in a, in a healthier way so that you can be fulfilled and you can move forward and you can take those, those big risks of, you know, stepping into who you are. Yeah, absolutely. And just having an objective, you know, perspective on that um, outside perspective really helps. Well, I would say my, my dad was really my biggest supporter and encourager. He really believed in me and my music. That definitely has helped me as I started pursuing music to just really step into that. And I always think of his encouraging words, you know, still live inside of me and in my heart. So I use him as a lot of inspiration as well. But I also, for me, I find a lot of inspiration from a group of a community of other musicians that I'm involved with. Mm -hmm. I'm in a, an online music program and we have Facebook groups that I'm a part of and I actually help moderate those groups. But just in seeing all their successes and what they're doing and just having people around you that understand your struggles and that you mm -hmm. can you know, relate to are really inspiring and just I love listening to podcasts and mm -hmm. just certain people that, you know, are really growing personally, just taking in what they're saying and, you know, personal growth has been really helpful. So I guess being my own support as well is yeah, learning, learning to find your center for sure. Yeah. Learning to find my center and just, if I'm feeling stuck, I'll turn on a podcast, you know, again, it's kind of like talking to Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. knowing who you can talk to for what you need. So listening to a certain podcast based on how I'm feeling like, okay, I need to be encouraged in this area of my life or that area. That's been really helpful. Mm -hmm. Are there any particular ones that you would recommend for aspiring musicians or people that might feel like they want to do it, but they can't do it or hesitant? Oh yeah. Um, well, I definitely would recommend the Savvy Musician Academy. That's the um, online musician course that I'm a part of. I've been a student for a few years and I've I work kind of alongside them as a moderator for their groups and I've been really involved in their programs and helping them out with different uh, projects. But they also, they have a podcast as well. They've recently stopped creating new episodes, but there are, I believe there are over a hundred episodes on there with a lot of great information. Well, they talk a lot about, you know, mindset and stuff like that too, and personal growth. So for any musicians out there, I highly recommend the Savvy Musician Academy. And as far as like, you know, needing inspiration, if you're you know, trying to grow a business or, you know, use your art and creativity um, as a business. I would recommend the Perfectionism Project uh, with Sam Laura Brown. Um, she's really helped shift my perspective on what perfectionism is and how to work through it. And that's been like really kind of life-changing for me recently, helping me kind of work through self-sabotage and identity, who I say I am and who I believe I am. And it's allowing me to, you know, step in to my purpose and fulfill my purpose more with doing music. As far as home home life and if you have kids or whatnot, Mother Like a Boss is a great podcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, The Purpose Show is a, another great podcast um, as far as kind of motherhood type of things. Okay, <laughs> very cool. So wait, if you don't mind, uh, when we wrap up here, if you wouldn't mind sending me those so that I can put that in the description when I post this, I think it could be helpful for some people out there. So I have another question. Is there any particular way that um, if someone's listening and they like your music or they want to be a part of something, what in what way might they be able to support you? Sure. Um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, my handle is at Karen Connor Music. And I also have a website, KarenConnorMusic.com. So I'm also on Spotify. You can stream me on there. Uh, my EP, Finding Solace, is, is available there. Um, I'm also on Google Play and Apple Music. 
I'm trying to think of the other one, but there's a couple of stores and, and, and Spotify. So whichever, you know, platform that you use of those, you can find me there. And if you'd love to support me, you could certainly find me on Spotify and add me to a playlist that would, that supports me as well. If you want to support me kind of more directly going to my shop from my website, um, karenconnormusic.com, there's a shop uh, button and I have um, my physical EP up there, my digital EP. Yeah, those are ways that would be, um, you know, greatly supported. And if anything, if you just want to, you know, get on Facebook or Instagram and just say hi to me and, you know, um, share anything that you that you like, you know, that's really supportive as well. Um, I also have an email list um, you can access through my my website. And um, I'll be doing a subscriber-only uh, Christmas concert coming up here. Oh, how exciting. That sounds like fun. Um, yeah. I really, I know connection mm -hmm. um, is important for your, your mental health. And music is as well. So um, I really want to try to do more of that, especially, you know, this year as things are, as are ending, just to kind of bring some extra cheer and. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate you taking time from your Saturday to just speak with me and uh, hopefully offer some people out there some words of encouragement, maybe even some inspiration to find themselves and maybe even look for a creative, a creative outlet for themselves. So thank you so much for being here with me today. And I'm, I'm sure we'll talk soon. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Keisha. My pleasure. Take care. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye, -bye.